what does the Quran say about the forgiveness of the people of the book? What will will they be forgiven on the day of the judgment? Or will the Jews and the Christians will they be subjected to the torments on the day of judgment? So what we gather from this verse is what Allah is saying in this verse is that the Jews and the Christians will be forgiven. But you see that in all the verses of the Quran, most of the verses of Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has labeled the Jews and the Christians as disbelievers. And they have been mentioned and they have been promised torments like the inmates of hellfire. So what is this? Is there a contradiction in Quran? There can't be. There can't be a contradiction in Quran and there never is a contradiction in Quran. So how do we explain and relate this verse and the rest of the verses regarding the, the reward or the punishment of the people of the book? Now to explain all this, I would want to revise that we all know that there are five articles of faith. Five articles of faith being faith and belief in Allah, His angels, His books, His prophets, and in the Day of Judgment. And as far as the belief and the faith in the prophets and in the books is concerned, for the perfection and for the completion of this faith and belief in the prophets and in the books, we are all needed to what? We are all needed to believe in all the prophets and all the books. Yominuna bima unzila ilayka wa ma unzila min qablika. So, the faith and the belief will only be perfected and completed if the person having faith believes in all the prophets and all the books. Now, what was the state of affairs? With the Jews. In fact, what is the current state of affairs with the Jews? The Jews, they believed in Hazrat Musa salam, and they believed in his book, Torah, that is the Old Testament. But they did not, even in the life of the Prophet, salam, and they still do not. They do not have belief and faith in Hazrat Isa salam, and in Hazrat Musa. Salam. And they refuse to have faith and belief in the New Testament or Injil and the book revealed to Prophet Sallallahu that is Quran. So their belief is not complete. Hence, according to most of the verses of Quran, there is no promise for their forgiveness or of Jannah. Similarly, Christians even in the life of Prophet Sallallahu and even the current Christians, they believe in Hazrat Isa Salam and they, be they believe in the New Testament or in Injil. But even in the life of Prophet Sallallahu and even till now, they fail to believe and have faith in the prophethood of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the book of Quran revealed to him. So, the faith of the Christians is not complete. Hence, without the completion and perfection of faith, since one of the two things is not right, inna lazina amanu wa amilu swalihat. So, the faith and the belief is not perfected, so they will not receive any promise for Jannah and they will not be forgiven. This is what we learn from the verses of Quran. But now, in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is promising forgiveness on the day of Jannah. So how do we explain this? Those Jews who before the prophethood of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, they and the revolution of Injil, they believed in Hazrat Musa and... <coughs> And in the Old Testament and Torah. I repeat again, those Jews who before the prophethood of Hazrat 
Isa alayhi salam and before the revolution of Injil. They believed in Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and also in Torah. And they acted upon the teachings of Allah and Hazrat Musa alayhi salam and the Old Testament. And they did righteous deeds. Their faith was perfect. If they did righteous deeds, then those Jews will be forgiven and they will be saved from the torments of hellfire. Similarly, those Christians, all those Christians who believed who, who believed in Hazrat Isa alayhi salam and in the book Injil revealed to him before the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and before the revolution of Quran. Their faith was complete. Their belief was perfect. So if they obeyed the teachings of Allah and their prophet and their book, and according to the message of their verses, they did righteous deeds, then they have been promised Jannah. Because they did righteous deeds and their faith was perfect, so they have been offered and promised forgiveness and release from hellfire. So if I summarize in this verse, the verse mentions the forgiveness of the righteous Jews prior to the prophethood of Hazrat Isa salam, and the virtuous, obedient, righteous Christians prior to the prophethood of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam.